Soft English with Divyata. In this video, I'll be dealing with a poem entitled The Photograph by Shirley Towson, included in class 11th of CBSE and Jackboard. So, without wasting any time, let's begin. let's begin. First of all, the central idea of the poem is that this is a poem in which Shirley Towson has given a tribute to her mother. Okay. It describes the three stages of a mother's life. First being the till the 12 years old. Second from 20 to 30 years of her life. And the third, her dead mother whom she sees. Let's begin with the... Let's read the text first. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hand and she the big girl some 12 years or so all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see B betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both worry with the labored ease of loss now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences this is the text a beautiful poem a tribute to her mother which shirley towson has written now let's see what does it means stanza wise first stanza the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands and she, the big girl, some 12 years old. Here we'll get a picture of her age being she was 12. Let's see. An old photograph of the poet's mother which was pasted on a cardboard makes the poet recall the old memories of her mother's childhood. Okay, there was a picture there was a cardboard on which her mother's photo with her two cousins were pasted and it was hung on the wall which she was seeing and just remembering the things the photograph is a depiction of her mother's enjoyable moments here enjoyable moments we need to see that yes at that moment her mother was really enjoying where at the sea beach with her two cousins who were younger to her they were walking in shallow water with bare feet. Okay, bare feet means Kalipai. Who were young. Now, next line. Each one holding one of my mother's hands. The mother was standing in the middle. The both girls were aside. One at her left and one at her right. They were holding her hand. Okay. The poet's mother was 12 years old then. She was 12 years of age. It shows that the photograph was very old, but the poet has kept it very carefully. It depicts the love of the poet for her mother. Okay. It reminds her of her sweet memories that the mother that the poet's mother had in her childhood. The photograph also indicates that yes. How enjoyable her mother's childhood was. She really enjoyed her childhood. Next para. All three stood still to smile through their hair. At the uncle with the camera. A sweet face. My mother's that was before I was born. And the sea. Which appears to have changed less. Washed their terribly transient feet. Now. What does transient mean? Temporary. Okay. Transient, yes. Why she has used the word transient here? Because her mother was a human. She was a living being. And she, she knew that yes, she will die one day. And she died. So she has used the term transient over here. 
Transient means temporary, which lasts for a short period. Let's see the explanation of it. The photograph shows that all the three girls, the poet's mother and her two cousins, stood still and smiled at the camera. Okay, this was smiling at the camera. When the uncle clicked their photograph, the, that photograph which was pasted by seeing which the poet has written the poem was clicked by their uncle, the poet's, sorry, the poet's mother's uncle. Okay, as the weather was windy at the time, the hair was flying over, smile through the hair. It means that the weather was windy, winds were blowing, the hair was just blowing. Okay, next. The expression on the faces of the poet's mother and her cousins was that of happiness and enjoyment. How? They were enjoying. They stood smiling. That smiling shows that yes, they were really enjoying that moment. She was, her cousins and her mother was really enjoying that moment. The mother was looking very pretty at the time and the photograph was taken a long time ago. She mentions that yes, that photograph was taken a very long time ago. And the, her mother looked very pretty at that time. She looked beautiful. Everything has changed since then. Her mother grew up. Now she was dead and the poet was reviving her memories. In these paragraphs, we know when the poet has written this poem, her mother is dead. She is just reviving her mother's memories through that photograph and through the things which her mother used to tell her when she was alive. The only thing that has remained unchanged is the sea, which was washing the feet of the three girls. The three girls means her mother and her two cousins. Okay, everything has changed. Her mother died. Every single thing changed in their lives. But the sea remained the same. It didn't change. The girl's life changed drastically during this period, but the sea was not changed. The stanza beautifully explains the transient nature of human beings. Transient natures, nature of human beings is shown by the line, wash their terribly transient feet. Transient here means that yes, that yes, humans die, they die one day. No one is like, we can't say na, that humans will live forever. A person will live forever. No. They die at a certain age, at a certain time, when their lifespan is completed. The same thing happened here. She depicts a beautiful line. Wash their terribly transient feet. Through this, she depicts that yes, human die. They need to die one day. They will die one day. And all these things, all the lines which she has written is just through that photograph and the memory which her mother used to tell her when she was young. Okay, next paragraph. Some 20, 30 years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly, she would say. And look how they dressed just for the beach. The sea holiday was a past. Mine is a laughter. Both weary with the labored ease of loss. W-R-Y, weary. It means disgusted. Okay. Snapshot here means the photograph. Now, this paragraph will show us the second stage of the poem of a mother's life, the 20 to 30 years that between that lifespan. Even 20 to 30 years later, the mother would look at the photograph and laugh. What did she do? She la laughed at the poem. Photograph. When she saw that snapshot, that photograph, she used to laugh. Okay, remembering the happy memories of her past. Mother would, what would the mother do? She would just look at the photograph and comment on her dresses worn by the cousins. Now here we see the names of the cousins are mentioned. One was Betty and another was Dolly. The two cousins who were younger to her. Mother. Sea holiday was her mother's past and her mother's laughter has become a thing of that past. For the poet as her mother was now dead. Okay. Now it has become a memory. A sort of affection. A lovely affection. Which is somewhere in her heart. Okay. Which she remembers. That her mother used to laugh one day. As she is dead now. She portrays that she is dead now. But through that photograph. Through the memories. She is just reviving the thoughts of her mother. 
Her mother would laugh at the photograph, remembering the free holiday with a fondness as well as a sense of loss because that time would never come back. When her mother used to see that when she was 20 to 30 years old she used to see that photograph and laugh at those photographs okay and somewhere she had that what we say in hindi we can say that kahin kahin unko ye baat chubta tha ki ab wo samay wapas nahi aayega that time won't come back now because that has passed that was her childhood and her childhood would not come back now it has gone forever okay so she felt the loss of a childhood somewhere or the other in her heart in the same way poet feels a nostalgic thinking about her mother and her laughter which has become a thing of the past as it has become why it has become a thing of a past because her mother is dead now and all those memories were associated with her childhood okay so here she presents that yes now she is feeling a very close relation the loss of a mother the last line with the labored ease of loss here we can see that yes labor and ease are two different words ease means comfort and labored means doing a lot of hard work take it done work done with great effort but here it depicts the same thing loss that yes her mother is no more now she is no more alive even we can say that yes her mother cannot gain the her childhood back and now the poet she cannot gain her mother back now the fourth paragraph now she is been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it's silence silences this is the last paragraph and this depicts that yes her mother is dead down the third stage of the poem and of the her mother's life that yes she is dead now here the poet recalls that nearly 12 years since her mother died it is about 12 years her mother has died okay the poet is consumed with grief but is left with no words to express her loss and pain she is just she doesn't has any words any feelings by which she can express her loss the loss of her mother because she loved her mother a lot the poet is totally absorbed in memories of her dead mother she is just lost in the memories of her dead mother the painful silence of the situation leaves the poet speechless she doesn't has any words to express her grief her sorrow her love and affection which she had for her mother the loss which she cannot fulfill now the loss which cannot be fulfilled by any means now okay the silence caused by death death makes the atmosphere gloomy where no one is able to utter words it silences and silence here the silence caused by the death has made the complete atmosphere gloomy means it is completely silenced she doesn't has any words to express her sorrow grief she cannot bring back her mother to enjoy the moments with her it's completely what about that yes she cannot bring her back she used to love her mother a lot and she wanted to spend some more time with her mother okay now let's see the poetic devices used in this poem we'll see it one by one first one being alliteration okay what does alliteration means the repetition of the limited initial letters the initial letter of every word will be same like here stood still to smile s s s same initial letters at every word in a line that is known as alliteration in another we can take terribly transient t t silence silences s s so this is known as alliteration where the repetition of the initial letter is done the initial means the first letter of a word okay so alliteration means the repetition of the initial letter these three are three things are there which are an alliteration in the poem the second kind of poetic device in this poem is personification what does personification means to portray a non living thing as living okay when we portray a non living thing a dead thing as living okay here silence silences silence it is what 
and all living thing na silence doesn't lives it is portrayed as living over here how it is compared to the human quality of being silent it is compared as a human quality of being silent when her, uh, the poet's mother was dead she didn't had any words she wanted to even live some more time with her mother all these things shows us that yes there is a point of human quality in this word silence silences the third poetic device in the poem is oxymoron what does oxymoron mean that two opposite ideas are used at a single place to create effect okay how the last line labored is in the last line of the third paragraph we have it is mentioned labored is labored means to work hard okay to work hard and what does ease means means comfortable comfort oh, these two things are totally different labor means to just work completely with all the effort to put in effort ease means comfortable and these two words are joined together to make it to present the loss of a mother okay the loss labored ease the loss of the mother is depicted by the, these two words so oxymoron means two opposite ideas used to create effect